Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Silver. In the last episode we finally reached Goldenrod City, having made our way through Ilex Forest, just outside Azalea Town. Now, in this episode, we started off and I've gone back to Ilex Forest, bashed some more trees with the Pokemon's head, and finally found another Pineco, that key Pokemon that we were looking for. Now, please don't sue it. Okay, thank goodness it uses Protect there. I'm gonna put it to sleep. It didn't affect it. Okay, it uses tackle. That's fine. That's fine. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Please don't explode. If it explodes, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay. Uh, well, bear in mind, I did actually make a save. Thing. Okay, there we go. It's asleep. It's asleep. Oof. It's getting very worried. Then. Now I'm gonna say. Uh. So let's see. Oh, doesn't take it out. Thank goodness. And then, Pokeball, come on. Because one we bought more Great Balls, didn't we? Is it going to capture? Yes, okay, so we catch Pineco. Another Pokemon to be added to our Pokédex, the Bagworm Pokemon. It hangs and waits for flying insects prey, for flying insect prey to come near. It does not move about, but on its own. Okay, so you can see I actually came down here to pretty much exactly the same uh, the same tree that I bashed before in order to get a pineco. I figured that was the best way to think about it. Anyway, Mark, good evening. It's me, Anthony. Got a minute? How are your Pokemon doing? My dude is really energetic. It's a handful. Hey, listen, I almost caught a Rasta the other day. Oh, so close too. See you later. Okay, so more of that. I reckon there are a fair few uh, guys like that who's... Uh, Pokemon numbers we're probably going to be deleting pretty soon because they're getting a bit annoying. Anyway, we're going to put Oddish back at the front and we're going to leave. Um, and we're going to race back up. As you can see, it is now night time and we're going to head straight back up to Goldenrod City. So we've searched much, we've done most of the, uh, well, we've done bits of the exploration so far. I'm now going to, this time, start off by heading down the underground path, which is here, underground entrance. There are some shops downstairs, but there are also trainers. I'm scared to go down there. Okay, so we're gonna get trainers inside a city, which you don't usually get. I got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. I did cheat using my Pokemon, anyway. Super Nerd Eric sends out a Grimer. Isn't a, that bad a Pokemon, to be honest. Uh, oddish. Just cut and eventually. There we go! Sweet! We take out his Grimer with Oddish. Oddish grows to level 14 and learns Poison Powder. He's also got another Grimer. We won't do it quite yet, but now we'll swap out two. Crocodile. And we use Water Gun twice, and that takes out his Grimer. So that's our first victory of the episode. Sweet. And we get rid of Super Nerd Eric. I guess I have to do things fair and square, he says. What do you have to say? My Pokemon just got haircuts. I'll show you how strong they are. Says Pokemaniac Isaac. He says Pokemon just got haircuts, but he's only got one Pokemon. Hmm. Anyway, we'll go to Ekans uh, and we'll use Headbutt. Bite. Okay, nothing. Uh, we've got flinches with bite, which is quite nice. And there we go, sweet. So we get that. And Pokemaniac I is Isaac. It's not quite Isaac. Uh, it was defeated. Your Pokemon will like you more if you give them haircuts. That's a way of uh, increasing, I think, its friendliness or something like that. Anyway, we find the coin case. And since we've done that, we might as well try and quickly see what's, on, what's available in the game corner. We have. TM25, which is Thunder, TM14, which is Blizzard, and TM38, which is Fire Blast. So, so like the extreme, most powerful moves for each of the, uh, each of the, each of Fire, Electric, and Ice Pokemon. And we've also got Abra, Sandshrew, and Dratini available in the game corner. Um, I don't think we've caught any of those. We might have caught a Sandshrew. Uh, No, we haven't. Okay, so yeah. So 
in Johto. No Shanshu nests in Johto. Anyway, so those those might well need to be added to our team in order to uh, max out our Pokédex. Anyway, though, we know there are shops down here. Let's have a look. Hello, dear. I sell inexpensive herbal medicine. They're good, but a trifle bitter. Your Pokémon may not like them. <laughs> okay. And there we got this one. Welcome. I run the Pokemon Salon. I'm the older and better of the two haircut brothers. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just 500 Poke Dollars. And then... Do you consider type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. This is very true. Super Ned Teru, who's got a Magnemite. Um, so I'm gonna go to Ekans. Bites, there we go, sweet. And he's got a Voltorb. Uh, I'll go to Oddish again. And I'll go back to Ekans. And hopefully that will do. Yeah, that's doing a decent amount of damage. There we go, sweet. Okay, I should have uh, healed up my Pokemon when I went back upstairs. Anyway, Oddish is up to level 15. Uh, so, seeing as it's pretty close, I'm just going to uh, keep that. Uh, with Ekans, there we go, Headbutt takes out that Magnemite. And get a crit hit there. And it flinches, there we go, we take out the Magnemite, Ekans is great, gets up to level 17. Sweet, and we defeat Pokemon Nerd Teru who goes, ow, ow, ow. I know, I know my Pokemon type alignments, but I only use one type of Pokemon. That's not particularly clever, let's be honest. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. He says, so it's Pokemaniac Donald, who's got a Slowpoke. Um, we use Absorb, get some health back. That's really a really nice Pokemon. Well, not quite really nice, because obviously you may well know some Psychic attacks. Um, but Absorb is helping quite a lot here. There we go, lovely. And Absorb again. Beautiful. Oddish grows to level 16 and wants to learn Stun Spore. Um, which is probably better than Sweet Scent. So we go with a Sweet Scent and we'll put in some Stun Spore. Gah! I lost! That makes me mad, he says. Are you making a Pokedex? Here's a hot tip. The hiker on Route 33, Anthony, is a good guy. He'll phone you if he sees any rare Pokemon. Okay, so he's saying that I should keep Anthony's phone number just in case. No entry beyond this point. Okay, so we can't enter lower down. I was challenged to battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You better be careful. Well, we managed to do it just easily. Anyway, so we've got the name Rater here. Um, who's this guy, I'm assuming? Yeah, it's for the difficult books. And then we've got the gym. Golden Rod City Pokemon Gym. Leader Whitney, the incredibly pretty girl. I guess they couldn't think of something to come up with to do with normal Pokemon. So they just said that she's really pretty. Anyway, once while I was battling, my Pokemon couldn't make any moves. The, po the PowerPoints or PP of its all moves were of all its moves were gone. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon may be unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal at a Pokemon Center or use an item. And then la 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 la. Have plenty of water, my lovely. Sort of learned flower shop. When I watered that moving tree on Route 36, it jumped. I think it must be a Pokemon. But it would take someone like Whitney, our gym leader, to beat it. Okay. So, obviously a water type move would be effective against uh, such a Pokemon. I think we'd just be able to, you know, use... Anyway, have we just spoken to you? <laughs> I got into trouble for playing in the basement of the department store. Fine, we never went into the basement. Is that man black dressed up a member of team... Sorry, is that man dressed up in black like a Team Rocket number? How silly. This is Goldenrod City Station. The train hasn't come in. I know, I'll carry the passengers on my back. That won't work. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> they built the new radio tower to replace the old creaky one. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram. Goldenrod City Radio Tower. So we'll check in here. Uh, what do you have to say? Welcome! Short and sweet. Hi, are you here for the lucky number show? Want me to check the IDs numbers of your Pokemon? If you get lucky, you may well win a prize. This week's number is 1834. Let's see if you have a match. Congratulations! We have a match with the ID number of 
push him up, push him up, push him up, push him up. In your PC box, hey, you've matched the last three numbers. You won second prize and EXP share. Please come back next week for the next lucky number. We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Just collide it into your poker air to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to take the quiz? Sure. Can the town map be displayed on a Poké Gear? Yes, it can. Can Nidorina be female only? Yes. Does Kurt, the potable craftsman, use apricorn? No, it uses apricorn with a C. Magikarp won't learn any TM move? That is tr true, I'm pretty sure. Wow, right again, here's the final question. Professor Oak's Pokémon Talk is a very popular program. Is Marie the co-host of the show? I can't remember. It's Pokemon Oak and someone that Professor Oak. Ah, got it wrong. Okay, well, we'll try it again. It's just yes, yes, no, yes, no. Bingo, you got it. Congratulations. Here's your prize, a radio card. Fox Poker Gear can now double as a radio. Please tune in to our radio show. I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. There you go. I only know what she sounds like, though. And you say, Ben is a fabulous DJ. His sweet voice makes me melt. Lucky channel. Win with Pokemon ID numbers. Made your Pokemon to collect different ID numbers. And then, reception, sales, personnel, production, director's office. Let's see. Well, we might as well. Might as well explore around here. Jiggly. Jiggly. Ah. Lullabies on the radio may make Pokemon sleep. You can listen to your radio anywhere. Tune in. Sorry, authorised personnel only beyond this point. It wasn't that way before. There's something wrong with the director. Good oh dear. Anyway, well, nonetheless, we can't go any further, so we will leave. Now, what else do we have? So we start... Did we go down here? We talk to you. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Oddish. It's quite cute. I keep losing in battles and my Pokemon end up fainting. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me much. When I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts real glad. Apparently. So that's just like giving idea of, I think it's friendliness, like, or like, happiness, the idea. If you give your Pokemon items, they'll, uh, respect or be more happy for it and stuff like that. Anyway, the world is a cycle path. Bike shop. And so, I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Sure. And so, we get... My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. Uh, let's have a look. If we can. That should be in, probably in... There we go. Bit of faster movement, which is always nice. I think that's everything we've got to do around here. So we'll heal up. Anyway, so now the important thing is, I think now is going to be taking on the gym leader. Can we defeat Whitney? Okay, let's have a quick check of my team. We've got Oddish. Noctowl, Croconaw, Ekans, and then Execute and Muscle are elsewise. Okay, let's have a look. Yo, champ in the making! This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend that you use fighting type Pokemon. Anyway, we'll take on this girl first. She's blocked our route. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. Beauty Samantha wants to battle and she's got me out. Should be I thought it'd be too difficult then. Okay, we'll use absorb. Lots of absorb. Nice crit hit there, there we go. Sweet, so the first me out is down and now well I she's got another one. Ah, oh, come on. Stun spore. Okay, fine. Swift. There we go, nice hit. So, Beauty Samantha was defeated. Oh, no, oh Meowth, I'm so sorry. Got 128 quid. I taught moves Meowth. Sorry. I taught Meowth moves for talking on any type. 
Stop talking. And sort me out smooth for taking on any type. I don't know what I'd say. That'd be an interesting uh, reference to the anime if she was talking about how she'd made Demi out talk. Anyway, we'll heal up once more because Oddish and. Just because Oddish. Uh, we'll keep moving. So, next, we must go around this way. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Says Beauty Victoria, we're in there. But nonetheless, we've got Defeat Her Centret. Uses Defense Curl, good thing we've got Absorb, which this Defense Curl can't protect from. It's got another Centret. More Absorb. There we go, lovely. Oh, Oddish is gaining quite a few levels here, which is nice. Another Centret to finish off with, so this one's quite a bit higher level. I should have used Sunspore. Come on, let's get some power. Yeah, there's a paralysis there, and another absorb. Sweet, sweet. So, you see, let's see. Oops, it's over. Wow, you must be good to beat me. Keep it up. Good point, just how good you are. But nonetheless, we shall continue round. We've already faced off against that one. So, the next girl to face, it seems, they're all female. Don't think I'm a pushover. Says Lass Carrie wants to battle, and she's got a snubble at level 18. Stun Spore works, that's excellent. It uses Bite anyway, which is a bit annoying, but we can start using Absorb now. It's a scary face. I'm Still ahead. It's fully paralyzed that time, which is lovely. It uses charm, but it fails. And absorb again. Sweet. Okay, there we go. Snubble fainted. 243. And we defeat Lasset Carry. Darn, I thought you were weak, she says. In the world of Pokemon, I wonder what's stronger, male or female. Um uh, hmm question. It is a good question. I was just seeing if I could uh, see the genders of my Pokemon from the screen, but it doesn't seem I can. Anyway, we'll take on this final trainer, it looks like, before we take on Whitney. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have a strong and cute Pokemon. The best of the both, of both worlds, I guess. I'm going to try and... Nope. I said we're going to try and... Uh, Paralyzed this Jigglypuff, but we weren't given the chance to. It's now using Sing. It missed, thankfully. And Poison Powder works a charm. Oddish grows to level 18 and wants to learn Sleep Powder. I already have Noctowl, who knows Hypnosis, and I'm probably going to keep Hypnosis to the end. Sleep Powder is pretty good, though. Um... Ooh, do I want Sleep Powder? Sleep Powder. Paral do I want paralysis, sleep, or poison? It's generally a big question. I think I want sleep over paralysis. Okay, we're going to use Jigglypuff. I'm not going to change the Pokemon because Oddish is doing such a good job. Put it to sleep. And I have no PP for Absorb, so we'll just use Cut. And there we go. Lovely, lovely. And a final Jigglypuff. Sleep powder fell asleep again. Sweet and cut miss. It's a bit annoying. Let's put me to sleep. Come on, wake up. Three, four, five, six. Thankfully, I finally woke up, and there we go. I'm still just dis disabled there. It's a bit annoying. There we go. Kept using Defense Curl, but eventually Poison Powder brought it down. Thank goodness for that. Oh, Noctowl gains 121 experience points. Last Bridget was defeated. Oh, no, 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 she says. I'm trying to beat Whitney, but it's depressing. I'm okay. If I lose, I'll just try harder next time. Okay, sweet. And so that's that. Um, what we will now do is we will exit and heal up once more. Uh... Just ahead of the Whitney battle. Um, if I remember correctly from the anime, Whitney has a Mill Tank. Uh, should, should be interesting. 
Uh, I think we're good about that. Okay, let's take on Whitney. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was so into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want a battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Says Whitney. Okay, so she starts off with a Clefairy at level 18, which probably knows metronome. Uh, I'm going to put it to sleep. And I'm faster than it, which is a good sign. Uh, we use cut to start off with. And another cut. Get the crit. It uses double slap, only hits once, and use absorb to finish it off. There we go, her Clefairy is down. That wasn't too bad at all, now, was it? Next, she's got a Mel Tank. Okay, it uses Rollout, which is, uh, what's it? Rollout Rock type, I think? Shit, did a lot of damage that time, it's a bit annoying. Okay, anyway, we're going to try and get some health back, get some absorbs, although I'm not exactly, not exactly taking a huge amount of health off here, and annoyingly, this is actually a really nice run, because I've got a lot, oh, I want to use a stock, and takes me out, so like, angry. I'm very angry, I'm going to use Stomp. Okay, Hypnosis. Roll out. Is that going to take me out? It's super effective, but I need just 15. That's fine by me. There we go. Take it to sleep again. This time we'll use Peck. Okay. Sweet. Oh, can't miss. There we go. Sweet. So we take out her Mill Tank. That wasn't too bad. And uh, there we go. Noctowl grows to level 24. Leader Whitney was defeated. Stop. Wah! You're mean! You shouldn't be so serious, you, you child, you! Wah! Wah! Snoop, you meanie! You meanie? Oh no, you made Whitney cry! It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. What? What do you want? A badge? All right, I forgot. Here's plain badge. Plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle, also boost your Pokemon speed. Oh, and you can have this too. Stand 45. Which is... It's attract. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? Oh, that was a good cry. Come for a visit again. Bye-bye. I'm trying to be back. I'm really spoken to you. Sweet. So that is our plain badge. Gotten in our pocket. Nice and simple. There we go. You won. Great. I was busy admiring the ladies in here. Oh, Japan. Anyway. So I'm going to heal up because oddish. And then I think we're going to head out. Show you. I'm going to get a head out. A strange tree is blocking the road. It wriggles around if you talk to it. I heard that it comes wild when someone watered it with a squirt bottle. That's a good point. We can chat to the ladies in here. Let's see if she'll give me a... Do you know about that moving tree? If you water it, it jumps up in surprise. Oh, you're better than Whitney. Do you know about that moving tree? If you wet it with a squirt bottle, it attacks. But since you have some badges, you should be okay. So we get the squirt bottle. La la la, have plenty of that. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Sweet, so that worked out nicely, and now we can just check this guy quickly. Excuse me, guy. Can you do a guy a favor? Can you take this Pokemon with mail to my friend? He's on Route 31. Thanks, guy. My pal's a chubby guy who snoozes all the time. You'll recognize him right away. You can't carry another Pokemon. Alright. Uh, well, we'll just quickly head back to the Pokemon Center and go to my DP. Oops, no one. Bills. I'm going to deposit. Execute. Uh, and muscle. Okay, so we'll zip back up. We'll now chat to this guy. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. There was a weird tree blocking the road. I wonder if it's been cleared. You can read it, but don't. Sorry. You can read it, but don't lose it. Route 31. Dear, a dark cave leads to another road, says Randy. 
Okay, anyway. So, next place. Route 35. Go face off against this trainer. Are you going to the gym? Me too. Pinker Kim has got a Vulpix, which is a bad Pokemon. Or Oddish, but a great Pokemon for Croconaw. And for some reason I then decided to use a non-water attack. But there we go, Oddish grows to level 19. Picnic Kim was defeated. No, she couldn't win, unfortunately for her. Mom is ringing. Hi Mark, how are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your PC. I think you'll like it. The gym badges are pretty. I collect them. Okay, so I'm going to move uh, Ekan to the front. I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. So it's Camper Ivan, who has got a Diglett. Um, not a great Pokemon, but he's, Diglett have always got weak defenses, so if you can get ahead of them, then that's good. Got another Diglett, hopefully same. Oh no, not quite that time, but nonetheless. Okay, keep it out. And then he's also got a Zubat. So three Pokemon that haven't, aren't really the best type for Ekans, but Ekans takes them out nonetheless with pretty strong attacks. Either was defeated. I give! Music on the radio changes the moods of wild Pokemon. I'm going to show my girlfriend I am hot still. <laughs> if she's your girlfriend, surely she knows that already. Okay, let me just do some bite, and it flinches. Sweet. And then also got a Meryl. Um, headbutt. 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 Sweet. So there we go. Ekans grows to level 18. I wish you would have lost for me. I was humiliated in front of my girlfriend. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. <laughs> this is Picnic at Brook. Who has got a Pikachu? Ah, oh, headbutt misses. And there we go, hits that time. And hit that time, Pikachu thinks as well. Oh my, you're so strong. I can count on my Pokemon more than my boyfriend. Okay. What's this? Behold my graceful ball dexterity. It says Juggler Irwin, who has got able to orb, so. But it's only level 2, so what? And now level 6. And now level 10. Okay, that one survived a hit. And 14. This should survive 2 hit. Uh, no. Just survives. Well done, Akans. Akans grows to level 19. Juggler Irwin was defeated. Woo! That was a jolt. And then this guy. I'm practicing my fire breathing. He says he's fire breather Walt and he has got a magma. So I'm going to go to Croconaw and I'm going to use water gun. A couple of times. There we go. And then he's also got another magma. So it sounds good for Croconaw. Sweet. Fiber the Wolf was defeated out. I scorched the tip of my nose. The Pokemon March on the radio lures wild Pokemon. I was going to dazzle you with my prize Pokemon, but your but your prowess electrified me. Wow, you're pretty tough. I don't have enough memory for phone numbers. Um. Well. Nothing useful from Joey so far, so I think I'm going to delete his phone number. So then we'll get Owen's number. I'll call you if anything comes up. Sweet. Route 35. Danger lurks in the night, says Officer Dirk. Oh, when the policeman wants to fight us. And he's got an... Well, he's got a growl, I should say. And annoyingly burns me, but that's okay. And we've got another, another growler. Croconaw is hurt by its burn. Uses raw to bring out Ekans, but Ekans gets a quick hit. So there we go, Croconaw is 135 experience point, and we get Officer Dirk defeated. Whoops, he says. You know, nighttime is fun in its own way, but don't overdo it, okay? Anyway, today Saturday, that means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. 
Uh oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You have to use Ekans, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay? Uh, we won't use Ekans, obviously, because it's super low on health. We'll use Noctowl instead, because Noctowl, no, actually. Uh, we could use Oddish, because Oddish can faint if it's. You know, if it's powerful enough. If the Pokemon is powerful enough, it'll faint, and if it's not, then it should be okay. We'd like to give it a try. Okay. Yeah, fine. We'll hold your other Pokemon while you're left to compete. Here are the park balls for the contest. So we get 20. The person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of park balls, you are done. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest bug Pokemon you can find. Relaxation Square in the National Park. I'm sipping around. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit because um, I don't have too much time. Uh, Josh, I've been collecting bug Pokemon since I was just a baby. There's no way I'm going to lose. <coughs> I'm raising fast Pokemon for battles. But yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, I'm just zipping, like, fast forwarding through a bit of this just because... Uh, um... William, I'm not concerned about winning. I'm just looking for rare Pokemon. Ooh, a Venonat. We've never caught a Venonat, so let's, uh... Okay, for free, as we probably expect. Ah, there we go. So we catch Venonats. That's one of our Pokemon. The insect Pokemon poison oozes from all over its body. It catches and eats small bugs at night that are attracted by light. But... I'm just going to check the outside. Print out mail by opening it, then pressing start. Butterfree? Uh... Ooh, there's an outsider there. How did you get outside the ring, is my question. How on earth do you get out there, then? I have no idea. Metapod? Nothing. Too interesting then. Uh, maybe in relaxation square. Maybe. Okay, anyway, okay. So I'm just gonna uh, see how many encounters we can have. Uh, hopefully, we can run into some wild, some rare Pokemon. Uh, I think I'm running a bit low on time, so I'm just going to, uh, I might have even overstepped by now. So I'm going to go for maybe another, uh, another five or ten, uh, battles. And if not, we'll then just catch our Venonet. Ah, but there we go, Cyclone. That's far more important, I think, than the such a Venonet. We can put it to sleep. Uh, we can use Cut. We can use Cut again. I'm going to quickly go save, because there is a half-decent chance that this Oddish will, my Oddish will get taken out by this Cypher. Uh, okay, sweet. And now, purple. Ah, got out. There we go, sweet. We catch Cypher. When it moves, it leaves only a blur. If it hides in grass, its protective colours make it invisible. You already caught a venom. Switch. Yes, we will. I think Scyther is probably going to be one of the most uh, exciting Pokemon here, so I think we can leave just by leaving directly. Uh, more Butterfree. Another Venonat. So we'll have to come back, I think, and get to catch a Venonat, but for sure. But for the moment, I think I'm pretty happy with getting a Scyther. You still have 17 minutes left. Do you want to finish now? Sure. Please wait at the north gate for the announcement of the winners. We are now just the Pokemon you caught. And we have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third was Bugcatcher Josh, who caught a Scyther. The score was 327 points. Placing second was Cool Trainer Nick, who also caught a Scyther. The score was 361. And this bug catching contest winner is Camper Barry, who caught a Pinsir with 371. Everyone also gets a berry as a consolation prize. So we get a berry, we hope you do better. Next time, we'll return the Pokemon we kept for you. Here you go. Give a nickname to the Scyther you received. No, we won't be using Scyther, but it's cool to get it. Nick, maybe you get a higher score for Pokemon of an unusual color. I heard that somebody won with a Caterpie. 
it's easier to win if you get a high level bug Pokemon. What's the thing? I also think they consider some other points. Well, I'm satisfied because I caught the Pokemon that I wanted. Darn, I thought I would score high. Okay, sweet. So that's the bug catching contest. Um, our first one of this game. Um, obviously today is a Saturday, as the game has helpfully pointed out for you guys. So uh, the next time we'll do a bug catching contest, I believe, is on... Uh, is later on. Uh, I think it's like... I think it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So you see it on Tuesday. Anyway... So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Silver, and I hope you'll join me on the next one where we'll continue making our way and probably move that Sudowoodo who's been causing all that trouble in um, uh, out on like Route 37, I think it is, or 36. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next one.